Put your hands in the air, everybody. We get wild and crazy now. Now do this right now. Do this right now. Here we go. Hey guys, this is Zito, uh, giving you greetings from Caracas, Venezuela. Uh, we are a couple of hours before the Backstreet Boys show tonight. And I uh, just want to take a minute to show you what I'm doing here live for vocals with uh, Backstreet Boys and how I'm using uh, the Waves plugins as part of my sound. I'm going to start here. This is one of the guys. You can see this is Nick's vocal. The first plugin that I'm running is the Wave CLA2. This is a reproduction of the uh, LA-2A compressor. I love it on the front end of a vocal bus because it gives a really uh, nice, spongy, warm level compression. Helps to get the level up on the vocal, and uh, but it's got a slow response on it, so you're not hearing a lot of pumping on it, not a lot of uh, artifacts on it. Just puts a squeeze on it and knocks it down a little bit. But here is the key to getting a exceptional live vocal, live vocal studio vocal. This C6 is absolutely, positively incredible. It's one of the best plugins that I've ever had the privilege of using. Uh, I've used it here. I used it last year out on uh, Babyface. And to me, this is absolutely one of the best plugins out there for vocals. One of the brilliant things about the C6 is obviously it's a multi-band compressor. Uh, and there are several multi-band compressors out there. But the C6 specifically is, has an extremely smooth response. It is so transparent. You, you can really be crushing the vocal and not hearing it. And what that allows you to do is to get that vocal hot in the mix, keep it articulate, and keep it present. One of the things I love about the C6 is the addition of these two floating bands. You have a low band and you have a high band. And it's brilliant because what you can do is you can actually place these bands in the same range as any of the other bands. So they're completely independent of your four band multi-band EQ. What I'm doing with the low end here is this low floating band is I try to tune into the frequency for each of the guy's vocals that that's that throat it's usually 125 120 up to 160 cycles now when they really sing on the low notes those th that frequency tends to really jump out but when you go to a quieter part or a higher part uh, you need those brought back in so by using this band in this in this way what it allows you to do is is only compress when they're really on that frequency and otherwise keep it li linear so that uh, you're not notching on the input. It, what it does is it just lets that low end stay there, get body to the vocal, and doesn't thin it out. I'm using the top end essentially as a, as a de-esser. Uh, with each guy um, able to take it and really find that the area where their S's pop out and notch that. But the beautiful part is because it works independently of that top band, you can still have a really wonderful, clean, transparent top end to the vocal, uh, but not have it get squished down by this band here. Uh, one of the other things I love about the C6 is the ability to solo each of the bands and that's been absolutely killer for uh, finding how I want to set this up and also the frequencies of the low and the high bands that I'm using as uh, as my notch filter. So do remember though at least in the live application that these solo modes are destructive. So when you're soloing it, because this is a plug-in, it's not a solo like a, a PFL, it's an AFL solo. So if you do it during a show, you're going to have a really horrible surprise uh, of hearing only that band, which um, uh, you definitely learned the hard way. I'm trying to save you from making the mistake I did. Seems pretty obvious, doesn't it? I do the same thing across the board with all four vocals. You can see here, I have the exact same single path with each of the guys. But as I was saying just a second ago, I've experimented with where that top end, uh, that top end band is, and the low end band, really making that specific to its vocal. Um, hopefully, I'll get to post some of these uh, uh, these presets for you to use. And uh, thanks for uh, tuning in, guys.